the best way you can lose weight. Losing weight can be a real pain in the neck, okay? Uh, and a lot of times uh, you may be wondering, why, why am I not losing weight? So, let's cut all the, all the crap out of it. The best way you can lose weight is calories in, calories out. So, if you're in a calorie deficit, and that is, you expend more calories than you're taking in, you will lose weight. That's fact, okay? None of this nonsense that you can do whatever diet you want, okay? And ultimately, it comes out to calories in, calories out. And the best fitness trainers and nutritionists will tell you that. If they tell you anything else, then get rid of them and get someone else. So with that established, okay, so what do most of us do when we say, right, I'm going to reduce my calories and count my calories and watch my calories. So we use uh, calorie calculators, okay, and we use uh, fitness trackers. But here's the problem. They're not accurate, okay? So you may be thinking, oh, right, I've got um, this, this fitness tracker and this calorie calculator. I'm sorted, okay? Yes, woohoo! Got to lose loads of weight. And then all of a sudden you realise, uh, why am I not losing weight? What? I lost weight in the first few weeks and now I'm not losing anything. That's so weird. What's going on? Okay? So... What I'm going to do is just show you just a, a few, th a few, few, f f if I could say it, a few foods. And uh, I'm going to use a, a, a quite a popular uh, calorie calculator online. And I'm also going to go uh, show you a study done on fitness trackers and how accurate they are. So let's start off with the foods. So what I've got, I've got um, some unsweetened soy milk, some red split lentils, and some few silly pa uh, pasta wholemeal. So let's just go into my laptop. Okay, so first of all, let's, let's try the uh, red split lentils. As if I can spell. Okay, where we are. Uh, red split, let's do a, I think that it's cooked we need. Okay, so I've had some uh, red split lentils today, I've cooked them, and I want a 100 gram serving. So there, I've had a 100 gram serving, 200 calories. Now, let's look at the calories on the packet. 100 gram uh, cooked, 114 calories. So I think I've had, I think I've had uh, 102 calories, but actually I've had 114, so that's an extra 12 calories. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Okay, and that's only one food item. Okay, just one. Let's try something else. Let's try, let's try the, the soy milk. Okay, let's see what it gives me here. Unsweetened, uh, forti fortified, let's have a look, okay. And let's go for a 250 grams, 250 milliliter serving. So a 250 mil serving is 65 calories, brilliant. And let's have a look on, let's have a look on uh, my, my milk here, 89 calories. So that's saying um, 65 calories and I've actually had 89 calories. So you can see, again, so that's uh, it's saying I'm having 65 calories. Well, I'm having 89 calories, so that's 14, I believe, yeah. So that's 14 calories extra. So already, just in two food products, I've had four, uh, uh, 26 um calories more than I thought I was having. Okay, uh, let's try uh, one more. Let's try the, let's 
try the Thucydides pasta. Whole wheel. Okay, so the one on one is not on there. So what, what, what you'd have to do then, you'd have to kind of guess, wouldn't you? And as you can see, look, it's a bit of a minefield. Top, this, top, the top one has uh, 200 calories. This one has uh, 185, this one has 162. So, so this one has 185. So, so when you're using a calorie calculator, you can see it's a bit of a minefield. You have, you have to be very specific um, when you're typing in your product into these calorie calculators. If you have the exact product, you're okay. Um, but if you don't have the exact product, you're only second guessing. And as you can see with the first two, they were out by quite a few calories. Didn't seem like a lot, 26 calories, but over a day and over a week and over a month, it can bump up to hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of calories. So you can see these, these calorie calculators, okay as a guide, but don't take them as red. And then you've got um, fitness trackers. So the fitness trackers, you say, right, okay, I'll do my heart rate, fine. See what my heart rate's getting up to. Not that that's really anything to do with anything, you know, it's good to monitor your heart rate to see how high it goes. But what you want to focus on really is how many calories you're expending. Well, this is the problem. Most fitness trackers are pretty good with heart rate. They're quite accurate, a few beats off here and there. But when it comes to um, calories, uh, they're not really accurate. And some of them are up to 90% off. So I've just, I just found a study online, which I'll show you now. This study done by uh, Harvard, I believe. And in this study, they used uh, a range of they used Fitbits, uh, Apple Watches, Microsoft Bands, uh, Samsung. So they used quite a few. It was done about a year or two, uh, two or three years back, but it's still the same now. Now they said there was an error in heart rate, HR here, and EE, if I look at the keywords, as energy expenditure, which means how many calories you've burned. So if you look in, so if you look at the conclusion, in conclusion, most risk-worn devices adequately measure heart rate in elaborately based activities, but poorly estimate EE, energy expenditure, suggesting caution, whoop, suggesting caution in the use of EE measurements as part of a health improvement program. Okay, so what I'm saying is, is that the energy expenditure or the calorie burn, they're not accurate. And some of them were found to be, like I said, 90% out. Okay, that's a lot. So this is why uh, sometimes when you're doing a calorie uh, controlled diet, or you're watching your calories, trying to lose weight, you find that you're not losing as much weight as you'd like to because of the inaccuracies in the calorie calculators and the fitness trackers not measuring your calorie expenditure correctly. So what can you do? I'm not saying don't ever use them. I'm not saying chuck your fitness tracker in the bin or anything like that. It gives you a, a rough guide, okay, as to the calorie calculators, but they're not exact. So this is what you do. So you write, say, I wanna, I wanna try and lose weight and what I want to do is maybe uh, drop my calories uh, by 500. Let's just, you get it. So, so say you're on 2,000 calories and you drop them to 1,500, and you use and you're using these these uh, uh, these trackers and the, uh, and the whatever. So after about a week or two, you see you're not losing weight, or you may lose weight initially, but then uh, you you stop losing weight. So you don't just go, ah, it's not working, calorie count just doesn't work, it's a load of crap. No, what it is, is that they're not accurate, they're not measuring the calories correctly. You're thinking you're burning more calories and taking in less calories than you are. So, all you do is reduce your calories by another 50 to 100 a day. 
and over a week that's 700 calories so and over a month is 28 or 2800 3000 so what I'm saying is it's just you when you feel you're not losing weight you just reduce your calories a little bit more okay don't think don't just give up and say can I be cutting this crap and start going on a cabbage diet or you know all, all these other crappy diets that you've got out there and uh, and if that still doesn't work reduce your calories by another 50 per day until you see start, start losing about two to three pounds a week about that you know you'd only be losing too much because if you lose it, not 90 percent of the time if you're losing loads of weight in the first week or two and then it slows down it's mostly water and muscle weight okay it's the fat you want to be losing so about two to three pounds per week it, it's it's good look it's not a sprint it's a marathon don't look short term you know i get people come to me sometimes when i'm working in the in the, in the health club and they say oh, look i really want to lose weight um i got this holiday coming up or oh, when's the holiday or oh, a month away i'm like are you having a laugh come on you, you know you know you want to lose like 30 pound in a month well, the only way you can do it is chop your arm off <laughs> okay so you know be realistic with your goals okay don't think it's going to be a miracle and start and look for the long haul okay so that's my take on it um by all means use these as a guide but don't look at them as set in stone because a lot of the times they're not accurate okay thanks for watching and i'll see you soon